Kanaka Yonobun, Chonu Yonkuk Ajishi Imnida. Hello and welcome to a new PPT reading game. Um, I'd like to say I have allergies at the moment, so my voice is not so clear. However, I will do my best. So, in the beginning here, just explaining about the game, the game is suitable for around 15 students. If you have exactly 15 students, one student should be left standing after all of the rounds. There's a blue link here which will uh, open up the internet and show a YouTube video which is a short animation about Harry Potter. Go ahead and show that if you want to um, inspire your kids and motivate them before you play the main game. So this is the game and I'll explain how to play. There's English and Korean. Everybody stands up and each student takes a turn to read either a sentence or only a word if you want to just put words in. And they read the word, click on the uh, box, and then it reveals whether they're going to be standing or they're going to sit down. So in this case, they get the Harry Potter character, they should continue standing. Let's read again. This time we've got I'm Voldemort. Ooh. And, <laughs> yeah, that's my voice. I edited my voice into this game. If they get the Voldemort character, then they should sit down. And for the time being, they are out of the game. And let's read again. I'm Hermione Granger. Let's click oh, on this one. Choose another student to stand up again. So if they get the Hermione character, uh, that student can choose one of the other students who are currently sitting down to stand up and re-enter into the game. That makes it a lot more fun and more interesting. So let's play. So this is a template. Uh, character's going to fly across the screen. So if I come out of the actually playing the game and come into the template, so you can add whatever words you want into the template. So if you want to do one word or a full sentence, whatever you like, that's great. So for example, I've got apple, banana, uh, orange, and you can add these in as you want them. Uh, melon, what other fruits can I have today? Uh, actually, let's have a peach. So yeah, so write the words in. If you want to make long sentences, you may need to change the font size, which you can do simply by highlighting the font and then go to home and then just change the font size here. If you need to make it smaller because of uh, making long sentences or slightly bigger if you want to. So there you go, apple, banana, orange, melon, peach and mango. Let's open the slide again. So each student takes a turn and simply click on the box and then you will reveal, reveal, reveal whether they're going to continue standing or sitting down. So what I've done is I put Korean in the first slide, especially if you're playing this game with students who have never played this game before or if you're playing with very young students, it's quite helpful to have that Korean there just to prompt students about how they're going to play this game as we go on. So there you go. Sit Voldemort, down. you've got to sit down. Another Voldemort there. Uh, Harry Continue Potter standing. there. Continue standing. And... Oh, choose another student to stand up again. Yeah, Hermione Granger. Choose another student to stand up again. Okay, so that is the game. And all you have to do is just keep going through each round. I think there's about eight or nine rounds in this one. So if I open it up again. So there are different rounds as this is just a template you can see only a b's and c's and when you get to the last round i put a little sign up magimac magimac which means the final one and go ahead and play the final round and then there's a round two <laughs> so you could actually make this game up as one round which i don't know maybe 10 12 minutes uh, if you're going to use two rounds it could extend to 20 to 25 minutes so there's another round which will go all the way through should leave you one student left you've got the magic back at the end and then that's it that's the end of the game so nice and simple i hope that somebody could use this and uh, enjoy your time with it uh terribly sorry about my voice i have very bad allergies in the the spring and early summer time so anyway, that's it. If there are any questions, uh, leave me a comment and I will put the Google Drive link in the video. 
Many thanks for watching and enjoy your teaching. Bye bye.